Mm. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Hello and welcome for this question and the welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is in reply to certain comments and questions that came in one of my last videos about a week back. I'll leave a card here where I'm talking about the death of an actress which was not related to keto actually. The media reported that it was a keto related death whereas in reality it wasn't. First let's roll the intro. In today's video, I'll be giving you five extremely important tips that you should follow while doing keto. Tip number one, do not do keto on your own. I know that keto is good for you. It can not harm you, but at the same time, doing keto under the guidance of somebody who is a specialist is extremely important. I have been doing keto for the past nearly three years under the close guidance and supervision of my doctor, Parikshit Bhattacharya who's been monitoring my health for many years now and especially on a lifestyle diet like keto for the past three years. It is important to consult a keto specialist only. With all due respect, a regular doctor would not be a specialist in talking in this domain. He would have a superficial knowledge but he wouldn't have an in-depth knowledge as much as a guy or a doctor who has done speciality in keto. Just to give you a small example, my doctor, when I went into ketosis, when he studied me, my blood markers, and he realized that I, despite everything, despite a keto over a period of time of multiple weeks and months, he realized that I was still a little stressed. So he checked a few hormone levels, some cortisol levels of mine, and he had to cut down on certain things, add on certain things. These are things that only a keto specialist doctor can advise you. I can just tell you Dr. Parikshit Bhattacharya, but there are definitely other who are dedicated and specialized like him in the world. Just to let you know, I'm not being paid by Dr. Parishit Pataya to say this, but I fully support his cause and his work that he is doing for thousands of people in the world. Tip number two, drink loads of water. I cannot stress enough how much importance water has in our lives. Dr. Parishit Pataya told me to have four liters of water. In a country like India, where the weather varies from mostly hot to very hot, very easy to drink four liters of water a day. But at the same time, if we don't keep count, we somehow fail to achieve that threshold. It is very important to have loads of water. In a country like America, when it's cold, it's even tougher, but I try to maintain four liters of water every day. Tip number three, have enough salts. Over and above the salts that you're having in your food, add another eight grams of salt. Now again, I'm telling you, this is just a tip. This is what I do and this is what I feel. It's best to consult your keto doctor to actually monitor. Now my doctor knows my blood markers and he told me eight grams of salt every day. On an average, that turns out pretty okay. But it's important for you to get your blood markers checked and your doctor will monitor your salt levels. Tip number four or three, I just don't remember anymore. Tip number four, to keep a count of your carb intake. In general, we try to keep our, I try to keep my carbs below 40 grams a day. How do you do that? To be regularly conscious of what you are buying and what you're eating. When you go out to buy food, for example, I bought this today. You know, it's a, I don't know what it is, but it looked interesting. It says smoked shorty sausages, pork raised with no hormones added. The nutritional facts where I see total carbohydrates less than one gram. Every time you buy food, try to notice what is the carb content in the food and how much you would have and how much would you get in. There's also a thing called net carbs, so whatever is fiber that goes out and does not get absorbed. So it is important whenever you buy food or do anything, let's say even vegetables, let's say broccoli, which is a very healthy keto friendly food, vegetable, have it. But before having it, you should be aware Check up how many grams of carbs in 100 grams of broccoli or whatever vegetable you're looking at, asparagus, let's say, or mushrooms. Very, very important to follow your carb intake every day. Tip number five, understanding hidden carbs. Now, what is a hidden carb? I'll give you an example. Once you get into a ketogenic diet, the moment there's something sweet, you'll be able to figure it in your mouth. 
what happened was one of these days i was invited to a dinner with friends and i was having chicken wings in barbecue sauce now that barbecue sauce was a killer it was tasty but it was very sweet and i figured out immediately so i had the chicken i removed the barbecue sauce so chicken with barbecue sauce could be a hidden carb that you are having when you're going out to a restaurant understanding hidden carbs like that it's an extremely important tip hidden carbs also is there in most fruits if you're having bunch of oranges or apples or pineapples sweet lime this is you're practically injecting sugar into your bloodstream and your insulin just begins to spike and it stays just up there shall i give you a bonus tip because i i believe there's so much to speak in the ketogenic world and so much of misinformation going around let's let me give you another bonus tip we are in the habit of always looking for snacks a little hunger and we're looking for snacks honestly the amount of fat that we have in our bodies that we can continue forever actually not forever but we can fast again that is another important topic for another day keep keto friendly snacks handy what is a keto friendly snack have you heard of keto bombs it's a wonderful creation by by modern nutritionists keto bombs uh, i'll leave a link in the description here when i made my keto bombs when i was back in india that's an excellent snack to have this is a good snack 1 gram of uh, carbs in a serving size of 6 uh, of these these things 1 gram of carbs is is an excellent snack hard boiled eggs brilliant snack hard boiled eggs slice it up with some uh, lettuce le- leaves add some mayonnaise and we're good to go make sure that mayonnaise doesn't have sugar So here you go folks enjoy your food remember that if you don't like something do not force yourself to have it eat what you're enjoying but do not fall into the trap of the addiction for example ice cream your refrigerator should not be stocked with carb rich foods if there's ice cream in the refrigerator you would get tempted to get to that i'll put a link up here which wherein i made this video with dr parikshit of addiction and all of that wherein when you're extremely thirsty we can just about have maybe at most 1 liter of water but when you are not thirsty at all we can still have 2 liters of beer that's to do with addiction that's the carbohydrate addiction that we are talking about and that's where it becomes dangerous so folks and dr parikshit patajari if you are watching this if you do have some comments if i missed out something do put it in the comment section down below i'd be extremely grateful to you if you put some comments down in the comment section below and we can interact and chat and make this world a better place to live in and before we wind up and before we conclude go down and please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notifications subscribe to me and you know about my next adventure that's coming up whether it's a talk like this or whether it's some kind of adventure on one of my vlogs and i will definitely see you in the next one cheers folks